Hey folks, Stacy here from Homestead on the Hill. And I'm uh, just gonna give you a little tour, just a quick tour. I'm gonna go into the container and show you my vision for how I'm going to turn it into a tiny home. So hang tight, we'll, um, we'll get inside the container. Okay, I'm going in the container now. Okay, let's start out. It's a 40 foot container, it's a high cube. So it's nine foot, six inches tall. And I've got it set on footings, so it's secure. Um, my vision is uh, this will be the back, and then in this area in here, there'll be a, some kind of a sitting area, patio type thing, and then there'll be a door into the container there. That's where the entrance will be. And that will enter into the, what I call the, um, the common area, the eating area. So let's go inside and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is where the uh, big bay doors are on this end here. And so my plan is to have this as the mechanical room. So on the wall here would be the uh, where the electrical panel would be and um, electrical services. And then over here on this wall, oh, kick the bucket, so to speak, over on this wall would be where the uh, on-demand hot water tank would be. And uh, then, so then as I'm walking into the can, there would be somebody's feet right there. And then over here, where that little um, piece of wood is, that's approximately where the wall would go across there to separate the mechanical room from the, from the rest of the container. And uh, the mecha mechanical room would be accessed through the um, big bay doors on the end there. I may or may not put a door, I haven't thought of this through yet, through this wall here. And this wall, there would be a wall across there, and then also a wall across approximately where that, where that thing is, and that would be the kids' room. On this wall, over here, would be a big window, approximately, well, that size. I've got, I bought four of them, and um, they're just ready to be installed. So I got to cut a hole in it. So then I see what I figure is that the um, along that wall over there, we kids could have bunk beds because what kid doesn't like bunk beds? And then they could look out out the window at the mountains out in the front. And as I back further into it, then light gets worse and worse in here. Um, there we go. So from that block up there down to approximately here would be the kitchen and the eating area. And this is where on the outside I was talking about, there'd be a door in here and then there would be a, the sitting area that I was talking about would be outside there. And um, somewhere around here could be the, uh, the, the wood heater that would heat the entire place. Okay, I'm going to try, let's see what happens if I turn around. Oh yeah, there you go. That's not bad. On the end of the container, out on this end here, would be the um, would be my the master bedroom for my sweetheart and I. And I got a little window. Looks like that one right there, right there. Put that on the end there. And one of those big windows over here on the wall, so it allows in lots of light. And then as I pan around. Back up. So this this section here, approximately, like I said, from that white line on the on the ground there, to down to where that um, piece of wood is on the floor over there, that would be the kitchen or I don't know living space. And what we're thinking about doing is cutting out a significant portion of this wall and building a kitchen on the outside, which we will go around and look at in a moment. Hang tight. Okay, so here we are on the outside of the container. And so what I was talking about was they would put a, put a hole in the wall, like approximately there. That's where the kitchen area was in that area. And so obviously we would fill this in out here. And I threw down a little block there and somewhere up there there and so what my what i was thinking and i'm just um, brainstorming if you think i'm just crazy let me know in the comments actually don't 
don't tell me if I'm crazy. Um, so then what we do is um, cut a hole in the wall here and then the kitchen would be out here, come out here eight feet and then have lots of natural light coming in and uh, and the you know the the kitchen sink and the stove would be here and then the fridge could be over there type of thing and then um and then we could have uh it it, it quite it makes it quite a bit bigger uh quite a bit uh, more space inside the container for living so that's kind of my plan i'm just going to turn around now and i will show you the view from where the kitchen would be so i'm currently standing with my back against the wall where the wall would be cut out and the kitchen would be. And so there's that block I was talking about right there. So the kitchen would go across from there over to that red block. And so out there, across there, out there. So then when I'm in the kitchen, be looking out at the mountain on the, over there. Pretty good view. There we go. Kind of a blustery, blowy day up here today in the in the valley on the hill. A little patch of blue sky up there. Okay, so if I had if I'd had my way, ooh, that sun's bright in the eyes. Um, if I had my way, what I would have done is built a cabin up on top of the hill there that's why that's why we called it the homestead on the hill okay folks so that's another episode of homestead on the hill talking about my vision of what the new tiny home will look like on the on the hill on the homestead so see you next week